If you're this type of guy, you need to seriously reevaluate your life. Whenever I make TikTok content about approaching women, maybe how to vet a girl properly for a relationship, there's always guys in the comment section saying the following. Approaching women? Is that even worth it? Bro, just get your passport. Girls here ain't worth it. Bro, honestly, I'm just focusing on myself. Like, I don't really need no girl for real to make me happy. Like, I can just get a dog. You sound pathetic and you're coping. Here are some ways that you guys can stop being this guy and hopefully I can give you a new perspective. Fellas, let's talk. What's up guys, it's your boy Chad here from Defund Simping. In today's video, we're gonna be going over three mindsets I want you guys to stop having. The goal of this video is to hopefully change your mindset so you can approach dating and approaching girls in your overall life a lot better. Because let's just be real, some of you guys had one bad experience, then you're gonna take that insecurity and then spread it across the rest of the year with phrases like, approaching women? Is that even worth it? Bro, just get your passport. Girls here ain't worth it. Yeah, all that shit. As a content creator, I see these comments often. So I thought, let's just address all these guys coping in my comment section. But before we jump into today's video topic, if you're struggling with your online dating profile, overall confidence, approaching women, I wanna help you. Click the link down below to work with me one-on-one -on -one to get extreme results. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video topic. Three mindsets I want you to get rid of. Think about it, guys. Who says the following statement? Buying nice clothes isn't worth it. It's not all about money, it's usually broke people or people who don't even have the opportunity to do this are the people that hate on it the most because when you're broke it's very easy to tell yourself oh i don't need, i don't need any money what for what it's because you don't have any so it makes yourself feel a lot better hey i may be broke but i'll make myself feel better being broke by telling myself money won't make things any better you know it would but it helps your brain and your body cope with your current situation because if you told yourself, hey, money would make things better, you'd feel insecure about yourself. That's the same mindset when guys say approaching girls isn't worth it. Guys, let's just keep it real. If you are really good at approaching girls, it would be worth it. If you made a lot of money, of course money would make life easier. It's the people that are in lack of and don't have it are the ones who cope. Guys, I love approaching girls. Guys, I think approaching girls is top five, some, some of the most funnest shit for me. It's like, here's my mindset. How can I walk up to this complete stranger that's a beautiful woman? How can I get to know her, be charismatic, get her number, take her out, and maybe even get into a relationship or a casual relationship? I just think that's so dope. And a lot of people are robbing themselves of that dope feeling because they're scared of the word no. The reason why a lot of guys say approaching girls isn't worth it is one of two things. Number one, they just had one bad experience. They walk up to a girl, they walked up to her all nervous, like, hey, hey cute girl, uh, do you wanna have a drink? She rejected him. Now they take that one bad experience and then spread it across the rest of their life or their month, their week, and say just approaching girls isn't worth it. No dumbass, approaching girls is worth it. You just suck at it or just did it one time and took that one bad experience and spread it all over the rest of your day, week, life, whatever the case may be. What I want you guys to do is have the mindset of Kobe Bryant. That's right, Mamba mentality. Guess who has the most missed shots in NBA history? That's right, Kobe Bryant. So how does Kobe Bryant relate to what we're talking about now. He's missed the most shots, but he's also one of the top scorers of all time. I've probably been rejected more than you guys watching this video right now. But the reason I'm more successful than you is because I put up more shots. When I talk to guys in my program and ask them about approaching, I'll ask them, how many approaches a week do you think you're making? They say zero. So it makes sense why they have no girls in their life. Their online profile is shitty. So it means their presence online is bad they can't approach a girl to save their life, so they're stuck with just meeting their coworkers. That's about it. Get out there, make some moves, stop coping. Approaching girls is worth it. You just suck at it, that's okay. The second mindset I am sick of from guys is, bro, just get your passport. These Western women aren't worth it. Now, I will agree, a lot of these westernized women, they are masculine. 
they do have a mindset where they don't want or don't need a man. But guess what, guys? If you struggle to get women here, you can't approach, you can't run a proper first date, what makes you think you're gonna go to the, to the Philippines and just clean the floor? You're not. If anything, guys, those girls are gonna see you as a transaction. Yeah, they're gonna see you as a transaction. They're gonna go, wait a minute, this guy's coming from America. He, the money he makes in US dollars, it makes him a freaking kingpin over here. Let me just make this guy feel really good, butter him up, take him back to the States, get with him, and then leave him. A lot of you guys aren't fixing the real problem. If you struggle with getting girls here, you'll probably struggle getting girls there. Now, will girls see that you're American, hear you're American, and probably give you a better treatment? Yes, but is that genuine burning desire? No, these girls see you with a dollar sign above your head. When I meet girls, guys, they don't know I make money. I make an a slightly above average income. Like I'm not balling and I don't lead with that. When you lead with money, you're gonna get girls that want you for money, no shit. So if you decide to get your passport and go overseas, hey, do it, do your thing. But just know you may not be finding a woman with genuine burning desire. If you lose the money, you lose what you know you were offering her, she may lead you to just like a Western woman. So hey, if you wanna be a passport bro, go ahead, knock it out. I have no problems with guys doing it. Just if you struggle getting girls here, fix that problem first before you hop on a plane and go overseas trying to get girls over there. Cause trust me, girls, this it's the same nature everywhere. Women are women. Bro, I'm just focusing on myself right now. First off, let's just break this down. What do you really mean by focusing on yourself? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm probably more busy than you. I run Defund Simping, a videography company, and I do modeling. And I still find time to have an amazing dating life. Now, I don't want you guys out here Monday through Sunday chasing tail. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, for the people who are saying I'm just focusing on myself as a reason to not engage with women, like I want someone in the comment section to really break down What's focusing on myself? I genuinely think talking to women is like a muscle. If you just avoid them for years, do you think when you decide to finally go back out there, you're gonna be good at talking to girls? Most of you guys have one hour a week to maybe two to go out with a girl you find attractive and you like. Is it really that hard on a Friday or a Saturday? You go out to a bar and meet up with a girl you like and shoot the shit and have a conversation? You're not that busy. I promise you, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk still make plenty of hours out the week to spend time with family and friends. And they're billionaires, you're not. Your little you know, fitness coaching you're doing, your little nine to five, trust me, you have enough hours in a day to talk to that girl in the gym. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. You have time to go on Hinge and get a match and go out and grab a drink with a girl. I promise you, you do. And if you don't, leave me a good reason in the comments. I genuinely wanna know some other Americans experience with focusing on themselves and how busy they truly are. Because I truly believe that you can have a decent dating life while you're leveling yourself up. How about this? Monday through Saturday, no girls. It's just Sunday. Could you do that? Could you focus on yourself Monday through Saturday and then you're one day a week to see a girl Sunday? I don't, I don't think you having one date a week will kill all your gains, all your progress in your business. It, it won't. So guys, I just don't want you running away from girls thinking that when you get to the top, it's gonna be easier. Trust me, there's plenty of guys on seeking arrangements right now who have all their shit together and they're still paying for pussy. Why? Because they don't have the natural skill, the charisma to get girls without it. Without money, they're like, shit, well, what else do I got? I don't want you guys to be one of those people that make it to the top, looks, money, status, and you still have to pay for it. That's, what's the point? guys? The best thing is, can you get girls when you're broke? If you can get girls when you're broke, you're gonna be okay. If you wait till you get to the top, you focus on yourself and you just wait till, the, till you get to the top, girls aren't gonna get any easier. If anything, they're gonna get harder because now you're thinking, wait a minute, they see my car, they see my lifestyle. Like, do they want me for that? Or do they, do they want me because they like me? That's a whole nother situation in itself, guys. I don't want you guys waiting to get to the top to start talking to girls. If you're broke, great. Get to know some girls right now. Get good with talking to girls, getting to know girls, going on cheap dates, like spending 10 bucks on a date, do that. I'm not saying to spend all your time when you're broke on girls. That's not what I'm saying. I don't want my message to be misconstrued. What I'm saying is you're not too busy. 
That's what I'm saying. If Elon Musk and um, Zuckerberg can freaking go to jujitsu tournaments on the weekends, you have time to see a girl for an hour. Trust and believe. All right, boys, I'm over here sweating, yelling at you guys. I just see the same coping comments in my comment section, and I wanted to address these and give you guys a different perspective. You guys have a great day now. Peace.